and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have a beautiful tuna tartare recipe for you. Uh, we're going to take this and put it in a little bit of an Asian spin. Uh, tartare is uh, typically a raw fish dish and uh, the difference between this and something like poke or ceviche is it's not cured or uh, in some kind of acidic uh, juice like lime and here's our ingredients. So we have some beautiful uh, fresh tuna, this is a sushi quality, some green onion, some ginger, we're going to be using some sesame seeds, a little bit of hot sauce and I'll explain a little bit more about this hot sauce later, it doesn't look like much here but <laughs> I'll explain why, uh, some cilantro, we have some purple yams, and also we're going to be using a little bit of avocado oil. Now, uh, we had to start a couple things in advance. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a little bit of oil uh, into ginger oil. So we're using just a very nice neutral oil. This is avocado oil, which is really, really good for you and uh, completely neutral. It's very, very little flavor. And we are going to take some ginger and we're going to chop up, uh, we're just going to peel it and we're going to grate our ginger just using the small side of a box grater. And watch your fingers on this one for sure. You can also use a microplane grater, although uh, depending on your ginger, it doesn't work as well. Honestly, this is the easiest way to do this. And still get some, you know, some pieces left when you're uh, when you're done. Now, when you get to this fiber stuff at the end, uh, that's fine. Uh, if there's big chunks of it left, you can just chop it up. That's fine. We just want to get as much oil in contact with as much ginger as possible. So, uh, just give that a chop. Take the rest of your shredded ginger. Once it's in nice little pieces. and get as much as you can. Remember, a lot of it's gonna to stick to your box creator, so make sure you get that all off of there. And we're just gonna put the ginger into the oil, and we want this to sit uh, for quite some time, actually. Overnight is uh, fine. You can do this for a couple of days, and you get this beautiful, uh, it's actually a very mild ginger flavor out of this, uh, but you do wanna make sure that um, the ginger is completely submerged in the oil, so just give it a little stir, and make sure there's good contact. So we're going to set that aside and let that sit at room temperature and let that uh, oil just extract some of that beautiful ginger flavor. It just gives us a nice ginger accent uh, later on. So here we go. Uh, now it's the following day and we're ready to start making our tartare. And we're just going to uh, strain out the bits of ginger and uh, leave just the oil behind. So you want to get a really nice fine strainer. It doesn't really matter if there are some... Uh, little tiny, tiny pieces like powder of the ginger in your oil. That's fine. It's not going to make any uh, difference, but you don't want any of those uh, sort of fibrous chunks of ginger in your final product. So just give it a little squeeze to make sure to get as much of that oil out as you can. Remember to scrape the bottom of your strainer because oil will stick. So just give it a little scrape and it'll come out. Next thing we're going to do is toast some sesame seeds. So just put those in a pie tin and get those ready. Uh, we're just going to put those in the toaster. So we are going to take some cilantro here, and we're not actually going to be using the leaves. So what we're going to be doing is taking all the leaves off of these cilantro stems, and we're going to be chopping up the stems. So take the leaves off and set them aside. We can use those later. We're also going to take this green onion, and we are going to make it extremely small. We want to slice these up really, really fine because we want them to not add any texture. We're just using them for the flavor in this dish. So we're just going to run a knife down the long way of these uh, green onions until they're nice and thin and then chop them together with the uh, cilantro stems. And you want a pretty fine chop. You want these basically as small as you can get them. And uh, once you've got those chopped, um, we're gonna, they're just going to add this beautiful flavor, the uh, cilantro and the green onion. And again, you don't want to add a whole lot of texture with this. You don't want the crunch of green onion or anything. Uh, we're trying to make this kind of an unctuous and uh, really delicious smooth dish. So we're going to put those in our bowl. Now, here's our hot sauce. I, was, I said earlier I was going to talk about this. This is a hot sauce that we're currently in the process of making. We're still curing it. It's made from our calamondans, and uh, we did do a, an episode a while back um, of preserved calamondins. So what we've done is we've preserved them and we've added some hot sauce, uh, some of our uh, hot pepper relish, as well as some green onions from our garden. And we haven't blended it yet. So what we're doing here is we're just going to puree the, uh, the the sauce on the board with a knife, uh, which you can do if you have a good sharp chef's knife. That's fine. You can just uh, give it a good puree on the board and that's that, that'll do. 
Now for our fish. So this is sushi grade or sashimi grade uh, medium fat tuna. Absolutely delicious, fantastic cut of fish. And we want to be very gentle with this and you want to make sure your knife is extremely sharp. Otherwise, you're going to end up kind of mushing it all together. And we do want a little bit of texture from the fish. So we're going to cut it into slabs and then strips and then cut it into uh, fairly small cubes. You can see here, Chef Caleb is just sort of arranging everything so that we can cut it into uh, cubes. Now they don't have to be perfect, of course, but uh, we don't want this minced. We don't want it to be like ground uh, ground fish or anything. We do want a little bit of bite to them, so uh, you don't want them to be, just be mush or anything. So once you've got those all nicely chopped, we're going to add that to our bowl. So we're going to add that to the uh, cilantro stems, the green onion, and the hot sauce that we've got in there. And that's really all the major ingredients we have in here. Uh, all we have left are the sesame seeds. So we're just going to sprinkle those. So let those uh, get nice and brown. Let them cool. We don't want them to cook the <laughs> we don't want them to cook the tuna in there. Let them cool. Give it a little stir. And the last thing we're going to add is just a little bit of our uh, ginger oil. So this gives this very nice mild ginger accent to it. It's uh, very, very subtle, but has this beautiful aroma, really wakes everything up and uh, goes very well with all the other flavors in here. So we're just going to add a little bit. All the ingredients and amounts are going to be in the description below. So we're just going to let that uh, blend together. We're going to mix it all together. Now you do want to leave some time for this to sit. So we're going to uh, add a little tiny bit of salt and pepper. So just a little sprinkle of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. And uh, once we've done that, we're just going to let this sit for a few hours at least. So if you're uh, going to have this around dinner time, you want to make this probably late morning just to give it time for all the flavors to come together and uh, uh, you just leave it in the fridge until it's ready to eat. So just before serving, what we're going to do, we want a sort of crispy uh, accent to this. So we've got these beautiful bright purple yams. Uh, they're not they're not sweet potatoes. Uh, they're just purple yams. Um, and we're just going to fry these. We're going to fry these into chips. So we're going to pop these into uh, some water. Uh, this will get a little bit of uh, the extra starch out. Actually, ours turned uh, bright. Uh, the the water turned actually a uh, dark black color. Um, and then we're going to season these chips with a little mixture of kosher salt and wasabi. So we have some wasabi powder, and we're just going to uh, crush that with the salt. And we're trying to get this as fine as possible. So we're just going to use the uh, back of a spoon until it's really, really powdery. And uh, that's going to stick really nicely to those, uh, those chips as soon as they come out of the fryer. So there we go. That's ready to go. And then we're just going to pop these into our oil. So uh, we're just using uh, our cast iron. We're using shallow fry. We just want these to cook very briefly. We cut them extremely thin. So we just want them to get crispy. We don't want them to get super, super dark. So we're just going to let those fry for a while until they are uh, nice and crispy and ready to go. So we're going to put those onto a paper towel, let them drain a little bit. And then once you've got them all out of the oil and they, they cook very, very quickly because of how thin they are, we're just going to give it a little sprinkle with our uh, wasabi salt. And don't worry if you get a clump like that. Uh, you can just give it a little tap and anything that's not actually touching the, uh, the uh, chip will just come right off. That's fine. Now make sure you do season them uh, while they're still hot from the oil. You want to make sure that you get them as quick as you can. And then uh, all we have to do is put everything together. So uh, we've brought our tuna tartare back out. This has been sitting in the fridge for a while. And we're just going to pop that into, we've got a, uh, this is basically a cookie cutter that we're going to use as a ring mold. And you want to just give it a little tap down to make sure that everything's sort of sticking together in there. You want to make sure that uh, uh, it's all going to hold up and be, uh, <laughs> you know, a nice solid uh, piece when it comes out of the ring mold. Now this has been in the fridge so it's cold, uh, just warming up the side of the ring mold will help it release. Uh, so when you pull it out, you get this beautiful presentation. So very, very simple, uh, nice way to make a, a nice presentation for a dinner. We're just going to top that with a little bit of uh, extra cilantro. So some of those leaves that we reserved earlier, we're just going to pop those on top. 
You can also cut fresh ones. These ones actually wilted just a little tiny bit, uh, but uh, they still taste good, they still smell good, and they still actually look really nice. So just arrange them nicely on top. And then we want to take our crispy uh, purple yam chips, and you can see they retain some of that amazing color. And we're just going to pop those uh, around and, uh, you know, you can pop it in however you want to present it. <laughs> I'm just going to put those around the uh, around your tartare on the plate, and those are a perfect way to to eat it as well. You can just scoop it up on your chips, and uh, that's what we're going to do here. So we're just going to give a little taste here, and there you go. You uh, you've had time for all those flavors to come together. Uh, as you can see, it's all sticking together in a nice. Uh, nice single presentation there. Uh, absolutely delicious. Super, super easy. Uh, the only things we do need to remind you, make sure you're using sushi quality fish. You don't want to eat uh, raw fish unless you know for sure where it's come from. Uh, those sushi quality ones are excellent and uh, you just can't go wrong with those. So if you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.